hey guys welcome back welcome back welcome back welcome back to my channel guys if this is your first time on my channel you're most welcome please do want to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel be a part of the family it will be my utmost pleasure to have you guys as a part of the family like <laughs> and to my returning viewers thank you so much for all the love you keep showing i really really appreciate it so today's video i will be talking about something i have seen a lot of social media and something i think will be important to a lot of us out there so this topic is basically business ideas like a lot of times we see people post on facebook groups help please what kind of business can i start with twenty thousand naira fifty thousand naira or a hundred thousand naira so in today's video i'll be sharing 10 business ideas that I think one can start with 20 to 50 to 100,000 naira. I like to look at myself as a business oriented person. <laughs> and it's pretty understandable since I'm an Igbo girl and we Igbos pride ourselves in being industrious and all that stuff. So without further ado guys, let's get straight, straight, let's get right into the video. business ideas I'm going to give today, I will give my reasons why I think they will thrive, why I think they're going to be creative, and um, also give cost estimates on the business. I would also make sure whatever estimate I'm giving falls within our 20 to 100,000 naira budget. Now this video is not necessarily going to give you so much details like you want. I'm only pointing out ideas now. It is only right that you that picks up interest in any of these ideas I mentioned would go deeper into research on whichever one you feel is suitable for you. So the first business idea I'm sharing with you guys today is personal training. Yes, being a personal trainer. Why do I think this business is going to try? A lot of people are crazy about how they look. You know, a lot of people want to have toned abs, um, toned muscles, tight muscles, and all that stuff. So it's only normal that so many people are looking for someone to train them, tell them what to do, what not to do, you know, and stuff like that. So what are the things that are needed for this business? First of all, you need to be a workout junkie. Like, you should be someone that's addicted to working out. Like, any day you don't work out, you're not feeling yourself. Now you're a workout junkie. I'm assuming you already have your workout clothes. I'm assuming you have your trainers. I'm assuming you have some workout equipment like dumbbells or skipping rope. And even if you don't have dumbbells, I'm assuming you found a way to go about it by having a bottle filled with sand because that will do the same thing a dumbbell will do. The fact that you look the part already, the fact that you're looking well, you know, well toned and trained and all that stuff, it's enough catch to put your business out there and this business is a really nice one it's really common these days like you don't have to work in a gym to be a personal trainer when you see such training the people training there are usually up to 20 or more so now this trainees usually sign up in like 5,000 naira a month or for those that don't want to sign up for a month they pay per day like every time they get to attend the training and they pay like 300 to 500 naira so let's do the little maths here now you have like an average of 20 trainees that you're training and um for each one of them that pays 5,000 naira you multiply it by by 20 and that will give us that will give us a hundred thousand naira and um Hello, if we're going to be honest here, that's a really decent income to start with. If you decide to buy more of those workout equipment, like say skipping rope for instance, like you buy like three to four extra. Now, for everyone that decides to make use of your equipment, you'll definitely pay. So, hello, are you seeing the different opportunities here? Because there are other people that will want you coming over to them, and that's like, of course, they're going to pay for home service. It's going to be more than if they were just signing up and coming to meet you. So you see, with 40,000 naira, you're very well on your way to owning or starting a personal training business. Isn't that a good one? Hello, I, I, my opinion, I think it's a really nice one. Now for business idea number two, daycare services. Why do I think daycare services would thrive and turn out really lucrative? Look around you guys, look around, there are babies everywhere. Now these babies obviously have parents and most of the time these parents have, you know, jobs to go to. So they are really looking for where they can keep their children and the welfare of their kids will be properly taken care of while also working to make ends meet. Now before you think of going into this business, there are certain things you need to make sure you possess. You need to make sure you are calm, you need to make sure you are patient and you need to make sure you are not aggressive. You don't want to beat up someone's baby. Mm -mm, that's the last thing you want to do. You're going to end up in prison 
or even worse. So, so sum it up, you are a lover of children. So let's say you have at least a one bedroom apartment. You could convert your sitting room to the daycare. You would only need to, you know, put up some decorations on the wall, make the sitting room look like a proper daycare. And most importantly, you need to make sure your environment is clean, tidy, and organized because no one, no one, virtually no one wants to drop out their kids somewhere that is unhealthy, somewhere that is dirty, messed up, and stuff like that because no one is trying to have their children sleep probably the name of daycare. And over time, you're going to grow and open a proper um, daycare center. And I don't mean what I just said now isn't proper, no, but I mean like, you know, something really big and established, like a whole building just for the daycare center because if we're going to be honest here most of these daycare centers started off the way i'm talking about like most of them started off from their homes so So 75,000 naira is what we have for daycare services. That is a fair budget. Now let's go to business idea number three. We have laundry services. Yes, laundry services. And why do I think laundry services is going to try? Why do I think it's a good business to look into? Hmm. I'm probably thinking, ah, Beg, everyone washes their clothes now. No, not everyone washes their clothes. Like so many people are really busy that washing clothes is the last thing on their mind. Now, even those that are not even so busy like that, at a certain point, they feel men, they just don't want to wash anymore. Okay, so what of those that have washing machine in their homes? There are, still, there are many people with washing machine in their homes that are still lazy. <laughs> Honestly, there are different reasons. There are those that really do not have that time, maybe because of the nature of their job and stuff like that. So washing, ironing is the last thing on their mind. There are people that leave their homes as early as five o'clock, just to get to the office, all time and now these same people find themselves getting back home around 10 in the night or thereabout. Now, is it those people that would have time to wash their clothes? No way. There are so many people that can't even stand the thoughts of ironing their clothes, even if they had time in the weekend. Honestly, those people are going to want to just relax, or if they even feel like getting involved in any activity, many of them just want to party. So, some thought of this is a business that definitely has available market for it. Now I'm assuming, you know, just like um, the daycare service, we all have homes, you get, and in our homes we have buckets and basins, you get, we, we wash clothes, that kind of stuff. Now you do not necessarily have to think of getting a shop to start this business. You can get a shop if you want to, but since we're working on a budget, getting a shop might not really be possible like that. So you could just work with what you have. Now are we talking of spray start, share, or soap, bar soap, detergent, I'm not going to put those into consideration because those are minor minor stuffs that one can easily get and nylon also i'm not going to put nylon into the cost i feel those ones are really minor so looking at the major budget for laundry services now with 83,000 now you can at least start you get and the, the right spirit or the right or the right mindset to starting any business is starting with what you have start now and over time you would you know make money and upgrade so that is that for business idea number three. Now I'm going to business idea number four. We will be looking at perfume oils. If you didn't know about them, you're knowing now. There are things called perfume oils. These are oils that give off very sweet, lovely fragrances. And these perfume oils are not just any perfume oils. Perfume oils are oils to designer perfumes. So say for instance, now we're looking at Aventus Cream. These are perfume oils for um, Aventus Cream. Say in Talib Amore, there's a perfume oil for that. Um, say Bulgari Aquaman, there's a perfume oil for that and so on like virtually all these top designer perfumes have their oil now what is the advantage and why do I think this business is going to thrive and why do I think it's like the wave of the moment and it's not going anywhere any time soon many people want to smell like a you know, like a million bucks but on the budget many people want to smell like a big boy like a big girl while still being on the budget and these perfume oils just give that's exactly 
Now, um, let's take for instance a Ventus cream. A hundred and a bottle of a Ventus cream will go for a hundred and something thousand naira. Hello? How many people have that amount to spare for just a bottle of perfume? So, the masses now that have seen that they can equally smell just as nice as those big boys and big girls, but for less, are really going for this perfume oil. So, it is selling, it is moving. And just like the toothpaste you use in brushing your teeth, the soap you use in taking your bath, you know, just like any other toiletries. Perfume oils has its market readily available and you will definitely have customers returning because they want to continue to smell nice. You know, one thing no one wants to get associated with is body odor. Honestly, I think that's like one of the most embarrassing things anyone can get associated with. No one wants to <laughs> smell bad. So, you always have the customers coming back for a bottle of perfume oil. So now let's look at the cost estimates in starting this business. You can start this business with as low as 6,000 Naira, which is for the 3 ml bottles. Now, there are different bottle sizes. We have the 6ml bottle size, 12, 15, um, 30, 50, 100, like that you get. But for this video, so I don't talk so much, we're just going to look at the 3ml bottle. If you are going to start with 6,000 ml package, you'll get 12 bottles of 3ml perfumes. And um, when you sell, you get to sell for like 1,000 naira. At that rate, you are making 100% profit or you could go a little lower like 800 naira and um, you would still make a fair profit now if you're wondering what is 300 now what is 500 now okay 500 times 12 is that not uh, just 6000 now okay yes what of 6000 are doing my life just hold on here's the catch you can go bigger like you could decide to try out the business with the 6000 naira package to just see how it will move that for any reason if you will i have customers is what the developer saying right and, and, and is the market available and stuff like that you can decide to try out with 6000 naira package but where the business really makes sense is when you're buying in bulk. Now, you could get 100 bottles of this um, 3 ml size perfume oil for like 37,000 naira. If you were selling for 1,000 naira each, if you were selling for 1,000 naira each, or if you were getting profit of 500 naira, which at this point when you're buying 100 bottles for 37,000 naira, you, and you're selling for 1,000 naira, you're definitely making more than 500 naira profit. Because usually when you purchase in bulk, discounts are usually given. So you get the 100 bottles for like 37,000 Naira. And um, let us use a value of 500 Naira profit. 500 times 100, is that not... I'm going to end the vacation. 500, 500 times 100. That will give you 50,000 Naira. So 50,000 Naira is really not a bad profit to be made from a business. It's really not. Now the main thing you have to look out for in this business is that you get supplied pure and original perfume oils. You do not want your customers complaining that hey, this perfume oil didn't last this one down. Because normally these perfume oils last a long time. They stay 24 hours or even more. Like you would wash your clothes and you'll still be getting the fragrance from your clothes. It's how well they stay you get. So once you have a supplier that supplies you pure perfume oils, you're definitely going to have your customers coming back. You're definitely going to be getting good feedbacks and you know people want to patronize you because you are the plug. Now in the supplier case, um me a supplier. Supplier is me. I a supplier. You want perfume oils and the plug. I supply pure perfume oils and Hello, oh, yeah, allow me to you know, shamelessly promote myself. So now, <laughs> yeah, so for your pure original perfume oils, you can always reach out to me and I would, you know, hook you up properly. I'll hook you up tight, I'll hook you up nice. Here. So that is that for business idea number four. So we're going to business idea number five. We'll be looking at online photo selling. Yes, are you surprised? Yes, you can make money from selling pictures online. And what's good about this business? Pictures don't, anything online doesn't expire. It doesn't expire. So I might decide to purchase today, you're getting paid for it. Another person decides to purchase that same picture tomorrow for whatever you use. Usually people that purchase pictures online do so for creative purposes, you get. I'm trying to, usually all these um, producers, directors and stuff like that, they're trying to make a video or a documentary. So there are certain pictures that give off that vibe they're trying to, you know, put out there. So when they see that picture already made, already there, they want to get the license to use such pictures. So getting the license means, you know, of course, pain. Now you, in turn, who shot the picture, who has the rights to this picture, 
will be making money from the picture. And um, this business actually requires little to nothing. You would only need a smartphone. And I'm assuming you have a smartphone, yes. So long as you can take pictures, good pictures with your smartphone, it mustn't be an iPhone, it mustn't be a Samsung. Many of these other Android phones still take good pictures. What you would only be looking out for is how to improve your photography skills. So you could go online, thank God for things like YouTube, Google, you go on YouTube and see how to take better pictures, more creative pictures, to be really attractive to the eyes, you get that kind of stuff. You could just be doing, going on with your regular life activity and you'd pass a very spectacular scene or a spectacular beauty and then and then with your phone, which I'm assuming is a mobile phone and you're always with, you bring it out, take a picture or two, go back home, edit. There are also nice editing applications on phones these days. Most of them are free. So you find out that you might not even spend anything serious to start this business. Now, of course, you're going to need a platform on which you're going to sell these photos. There are different platforms, but I'm not going to mention two. These two are Jetty Images and Flickr. Jetty Images, I did a little research and I saw that even if you're in Nigeria, you can sign up on that platform and get your business started. For Flickr, I didn't do any research. If you are, if you're thinking this business might just be the right one for you, I would expect you to do more research and find other platforms that would work best on which you, you can sell your pictures. So that is that for business idea number five. Okay, I'm going to end this video here because yes, I said I'm giving 10 business ideas, but I'm going to divide this video into two. There'll be part one and there'll be part two. So this is it for part one. Part two will be coming up very soon. I can't wait to see you guys in the part two of this video. I really hope these first five um, business ideas I've shared turns out useful for one or two of you out there. Now that I said first five doesn't mean they're like the best five. No. You'll be surprised I'm saving the best for the last. Really, I, I, I think I'm saving the best for the last. So I would recommend you look out for the part two of this video and get to see these other business ideas I have to share. So guys, See ya, take care.